now we'll calculate moment of inertia of a hollow cone which is rotating about an axis of rotation which is passing through its altitude and the center of the base also the radius of cone is given as r its height is h and say its mass is m again as being rigid body we first need to consider an elemental mass on this cone as it is a hollow cone let us consider a circular ring at a distance x along a projector of cone of width dx this is a, a ring strip which we consider on this hollow cone which is having width dx and say its radius is small r now in this situation the small r can be very easily calculated by using similarity of triangles like here we can write a small r by x is equals to capital r by root of r square plus h square so we'll get the value of uh, the radius of this ring which is capital r by root of r square plus h square into x we find out the mass of this element so we can find elemental mass dm by multiplying the mass per unit area of this cone with the area occupied by this ring strip so if its total mass is m its surface area can be written as pi r root of r square plus h square it is multiplied with the area occupied by the ring which is the circumference into multiplied with the width so it will be 2 pi r dx so we just uh, simplify this result it will be m by pi r root of r square plus h square multiplied by 2 pi small r we can write as r by root of r square plus h square into x multiplied by dx here this pi r gets cancelled out so we are getting the value of dm as 2 mx dx by r square plus h square. Now, as being a ring, its moment of inertia can be given by the product of mass and a square of radius. So we can write moment of inertia of element is this can be written as di, which can be written as dm small r square because mass of this element is dm given by this expression. And the radius of this ring is small r. So here the value of di we can write as two uh, m x by r square plus h square dx multiplied by r square, which can be given as r square by r square plus h square into x square. Here the only variable we are having is x. so we'll integrate this x from 0 to the length of the projector which is root of r square plus x square so here total moment of inertia of uh, this hollow cone can be given as integration of di we can keep constants out of the sign of integration which is 2 mr square by r square plus h square whole square into this will be x cube dx which is integrated from 0 to root of r square plus h square we know well that the integration of x cube can be written as x4 by 4 so here the final result would be 2 mr square by r square plus h square whole square into x4 by 4 when we substitute the limits uh, we can directly write it as r square plus h square whole square by 4 so this term gets cancelled out two also gets cancelled out the final result will be getting is half mr square which is the moment of inertia of a hollow cone about its standard central axis passing along the altitude of this cone so keep this result also on your tips